Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Tom again at Game Strand. And we're going to carry on with some Mutant Year Zero today. Now last time we left it, we just got Ducks. And I forgot his name again. Ducks and not Hog something. Boar, Boar something. Bormin. Ducks and Bormin. There you go. Ducks and Bormin, we just left them at the Ark. We got back to the sort of safe haven, the Ark. And there's a little clip about how the Stalkers, and they're the mutants, they go out to collect food and water for the Ark. And feed and keep the humans safe but uh, looks like there might be something deeper going on underneath and we've just been tasked to go and look for somebody I can't remember the guy's name now but he's sort of the chief stalker who keeps the arc running we'll go and talk to the elder in a minute and uh, find out about that but before we do we'll have a little look around the arc so you don't actually walk around the arc like you walk around the rest of the game you've got the zone down here on the bottom right which is our exit back to the zone the rest of the game the main map then you've got Delta's fix pit You've got Prip's place, which and uh, Iridia's shop. So we'll go through them one by one and see what we can do in each. And then before we leave, we're going to see the Elder to get a recap on the story. That's very loud. Is it? Is the volume reset, or is it just my headset very loud today? I'm going to turn this down a little bit more. Hopefully that'll be okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Yep. Save changes, please. Let's carry on. Oh, anytime today. Delta's fix pit. Wanna know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Thanks. Any questions? Not really. Right, so is this all we can put on the weapon upgrades that we've found? The mods? No. So it looks like we can dismantle with triangle. I don't know what that will do. We can upgrade with X. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to use the crossbow quite a lot, so let's see if we can upgrade that. Right, I can put attachments on. Now I have an ancient site, which will give me 20% added to weapon range which might be good for the crossbow or 50% chance to burn enemies what's this one additional critical damage okay so I could put both of those on I could put a scope and a damage module on you've also got this this looks like your upgrades so if I make the crossbow level 2 if we look at the top right it will go it'll give it plus one damage and plus one critical damage and plus two damage and plus two critical damage if we go up again to level 3 but it looks like it's just plus one each time. I don't think you get plus one and then plus two to give you a total of plus three. It looks like that's plus one from where we are now. Because if you look, the damage goes up to five from four and then up from up to six. Although maybe if you had both, it would do both. I'm not sure. We'll find out later on, I suppose. But they cost these little um, revolver chamber things. 20 of those revolver chambers, whatever they're called. I've got 30. It costs 30. I might upgrade that. Hmm, I think I will, actually. Let's just do it. Ta-da! Now, what's the range like on it? See, the range is 10 anyway. It's got quite a long range. Whereas, Bormin, who has the shotgun and the rocket launcher, was it? I think it was a grenade launcher, sorry. I think it's a grenade launcher. He doesn't have the best range at the minute. 8 and 8. But then I don't want to put a scope on a shotgun, do I? Let's put the scope on that to give it... 20 range. Can I take that off? No, that's now stuck there. Oh no, remove attachment. Okay, cool. So I can take them off, but I have to come back to the arc to do it. That's fine. So let's just put both attachments on the crossbow for now, because that's going to be my go-to weapon. It's silent, so I can take people out. Thank you. Oh, hang on. I might not want to leave yet. Let's go have another look. So I'm wondering, see, I've got two of these stingers. They're both level two. Ducks has got one. The other one's not being used. I'm wondering if I should give that to Bormin because he's got two quite short range weapons at the minute. So that does damage six, critical seven, or damage five, critical eight. This one does four and seven. Mm, perhaps not, actually. Scope's not available. I don't have any more attachments anyway. So what if then, that's what I was thinking, I dismantle one of my stingers. I get 11 of those. Okay, but I know for a fact we're going to get a new player soon, so we won't dismantle that just yet. We might want to use it. Let's go to Prip's place. After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Gundus. <laughs> you want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also calculate a little uh, antiquity trade. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, 
Right. Is he the one I can give the boom box to that we found? Remember that's the thing ducks thought was a um bomb, because it's called a boom box. So of course it's a box that goes boom. Right, these are artifact points. I don't think you actually hand it in. I think we just have an artifact point for finding that boom box earlier. So I've got one I can spend. I could buy any of these three things. We've got tough guy, extended crew extend crew bleed out time by two turns. Because we're playing it on normal and not on hard, I'm not too worried about that at the minute. Sorry. <coughs> mm. Cold's getting to me again, not very well. Unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member, that sounds good. So we take two grenades with us, not one. I have to buy some more grenades though. He grants a 20% discount in Iridia Ah, oh, should have come here first. What an absolute moron. Fine. We'll spend that on there, so the next time we go... Next time. Does that... Does that mean I could have leveled up for 24, not 30? Let's find out. I bet it does, doesn't it? No, no, no. So what's the bit that's cheaper? Am I spending this on something? Do I attach the scopes? Did that cost me money? Did that cost me money? Or was she not Iridia? Oh, she's Delta. This is Iridia shop. We haven't been there yet. Ah, fine. Okay. Get a discount in here. That's great news. You know, but drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. What's that man doing on a exercise bike Just in the back? There is one hmm. rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. She seems delightful. Right, what have we got? Yes, so these cost the scrap that we find. So that's scrap. That's your artifact points. That's something. Med kits, maybe, or something? I'm not sure. But then that's your um, money to spend on upgrading your weapons. Or your weapon levels. So, we can't afford another scope or a pipe gun. We can afford a med kit. I'm almost tempted to buy one just to see if this number goes up to four but we won't instead i think we'll take some grenades and i like the molotovs so i think we'll take two of those why not i suppose i can sell stuff no next time there must be another way to get scrap i must be able to sell things to somebody anyway we've got the elder let's go say hi be a haven to you brave stalkers after your journeys pay me a visit and I'll offer you some guidance perhaps a story to help you become wise and strong so it sounds like he's just gonna give us stalkers. the plot every time we come back or further the plot perhaps I'm not sure but that's it we're done in the arc I think we head to the zone and go look for... I wish I could remember the guy's name. It won't tell me on the menu. Perhaps it'll tell me when I... Perhaps they'll have a little chat about it when we leave for the zone. We'll find out now. Oh, here we are. Investigate Hammond's cabin. I think Hammond would have been a much better name for Bormin. I'd have been all over that. But Bormin it is. And I'll just forget it every time. So we need to go to here. Oh, we can travel straight to Hammond's cabin. We don't have to walk there. Okay. Oh, let's just do that then. I like it. Now the map doesn't seem to be huge. I don't know how big this game is going to be. Because it's so similar to XCOM in the way the combat plays out, I sort of in my head thought it would be a similar size game, but it might actually be quite small in comparison. I knew it wasn't going to be as big as XCOM because obviously with that being procedurally generated, it's easier to get a lot more levels out of it but I'm not sure if this is I mean I hope it's going to be really long we might find that we end up coming back to look trying to find the map ah subtitles seem to have gone off Mr. Ducks why is that subtitles I know they're on were they not subtitled before or is it because I went into pause there we go. Kill you but me now. 
Shut the duck up and keep moving. <laughs> yes, shut the that, duck up. No happy ending in this. Oh. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. I will, don't worry. All about watching your back. I can't promise I'll keep it safe, but I will watch it. Okay. Common scrap times four. Well, that's not a lot. That's like a tenth of a grenade. Not even that. Fantastic. Right, so we're just going to keep an eye out for... Ah, that's right, you hold L2, don't you? It tells you where to go. So we need to head in that direction, but we're going to keep an eye out for scrap and some weapons chests around here. Ooh, ooh, zone dog. I can take him there, right? I can probably ambush him from here and use my super range crossbow with a potent for a chance to set him on fire to take him out in one. Let's give it a go. Ooh, probably not. We're going to try anyway. Yeah, he's on fire, so I assume as he runs to me, he's going to take damage. And even before that, I'm going to be able to move Bormin up here. Come on. Oh, no, I've been caught sneaking. I don't care. This thing's going to die. Right, so we've got this one here. 50% chance to kill him. Or this one here with a 50% chance to kill him. Uh, I'll just go with that one, I think. Go with the shotgun. There we go. Wasted. The enemy heard you. I'm guessing there's more than that one then. Enemy turn. Where are they coming from? Oh, it's okay. just another dog. They're fast, mind. They can move long distances in next to no time. He's slightly out of range. I'm thinking I'm going to reload and go into Overwatch because they don't have any range attacks. Obviously, they're dogs, so I should be able to just... Oh, I have to reload this. Like, 75% chance to hit him, though. Let's go for it. Through that rock, yes. <laughs> right through the rock. Come on. That's the way. Good stuff. So we can go loot these guys now. Ah, and we leveled... I noticed when I watched the last video back, we leveled up last time and I didn't do anything about it. So I should have two levels to go up now. Right. Uh, also, I can put some of these grenades I found slash bought in. Let's do that first. Give L1. Yep. Bormin his Molotovs. Okay. Now then, we've leveled up, which means I can do mutations there down here on the left. I see. Okay. I've got two points to spend. Well, this costs four. Draw enemy attention to yourself. Okay, so he's supposed to be the tank, I guess. We'll put the health booster on first, because we don't really want that before we've got the health boost anyway, surely. You know, and if we put that on, because it's a square, we will lose the enables an action after sprinting skill. And I quite like that, although we haven't used it yet. And, you know, I think I'll make good use of that, so. Movement booster. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy the movement booster, why not? Okay. I love his little hat. Absolutely love his little visor that we found. Do we have any more clothing items yet? I don't think so. No. Okay. Torch on. Let's go loot these dogs. Where are they? Well, it's hard to miss them. They're on fire. How oh, can we not? Uh, dogs might not drop anything. So, so far playing this game, every time I've killed a person, they've dropped something. But I suppose it makes sense the dogs wouldn't have anything to drop. What's the button to call him back? L3. Here. Thank you. Uh, oh, a hand grenade. Well, it didn't serve him very well, did it? These abandoned campsites always get my feathers twitching. Hundreds of them out here, all full of ghosts, shivering in the cold. As much as I love you, ducks, you're a bit of a chicken. No pun intended. Broken gun, weapon parts times five. So they weren't the revolver pieces, though, were they? No. Well, maybe they were, because I had 30, spent them all, and now I've got 5 again. Perhaps they were. Okay, so they're weapon parts. We can stop calling them revolver chambers. Good. Uh, that's a log. I'm going to have a th thorough look around here, and then we're going to head off to the objective. This looks like we've just about cleared the whole thing. We found a couple of bits, nothing major. And those weapon parts are probably the best thing we found. We can almost afford a grenade again from scrap. Oh, hang on. Nope, not quite. 
I think we it was should check Hammond's cabin like the elder asked us to. I'm going to. I think it was 44 gold for a Ah. We'll be going there soon. I think it was 44 gold for gold. Uh, scrap for the standard hand grenade instead of the Molotov. I'm not sure. Whoa, check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side. It's like a star. Hmm. Okay. So I wonder what this is. I assume we'll find out at some point. I wonder if there's any scrap inside though. Oh, broken electronics. Eight scrap we got from that. Good stuff. Is that it? Nothing else around the side? Sometimes it, shine, it seems to be shining a bit, but I think it's just my torch bouncing off. There's nothing actually in there for me to pick up. Okay, let's go find this hut. I know it's not far from here. Da, da, da. Good news is we reached Heaven's cabin. Oh. Is there's two friggin' ghouls casing the joint. Yeah, well, if we go around this way, I think we'll be a bit better off. So if you get close enough, like this, I can just hit ambush and take them both out. The problem is, I really wouldn't... I'd really like Bormir. No. You don't leave ducks there. I'd really like Bormir to be in line of sight when all this goes down. Okay. So if we start the ambush. A nice silent shot with the crossbow. 50% chance to kill that one. Or 75% chance to nearly kill that one. And we're going to take out the shaman. That had to hurt. It did have to hurt. Come on, Bormir. Can I hit him from here? He's out of range, but I might be able to throw a grenade over there and get them both. Yes. That doesn't do much damage though, does it? The Molotov. Oh, hang on. This isn't the Molotov. Yes, it is. Oh, that's better than nothing. Let's get them on fire. There we go. Now, if they want to move to me, they're going to have to take fire damage. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to happen. So there's Shaman. Yeah, the Shaman calls for reinforcements. Which is why I want to get him down quickly. And I've got a hunter. He looks like a sniper. Yep. Yeah, ouch. Oh, I might be doing this one again. This has not gone well. However, perhaps if I can get him here, I'll be in good cover. I kind of want the... Part of me thinks I need to get the shaman dead, but maybe I don't. I don't know. Let's move the Mormon out of the way a bit. And do I start chipping away at these guys? Because I can almost guarantee kill him. 75% chance to kill that one. Oh, there's a 75% chance to kill the shaman. Let's do that. We've got to get rid of him. Come on. Yes. So you can see, in case you're not following where I'm saying there's a 70% or 75% chance to kill. When I go over to the weapon, you can see the big 50% in white, that's my chance of hitting, and the white flashing, that's how much damage I would do. And then the orange bit is how much extra damage it would do if I got the critical. There's only a 5% chance to get the critical. So, we'll have a look and perhaps take out one of these guys. And we'll get the one that's a bit closer to Bormin. Now oh, that range, that scope was a good idea. The problem is, <laughs> because that crossbow is a one-shot, I can't move ducks there if I want to reload and shoot. So he's sort of stuck right out in the open. Get the fat one. As as <laughs> the fat one. Nice, thanks for that. Oh dear. Borman's in trouble. <sighs> okay, ducks, we need to do something. But I don't know what we can do. If I move there, I'm still in the line of sight of two of them, even if I kill one. What if I move here? And I can't really. See, I'm thinking I should move here. Hmm. I might have messed this up quite badly. I'm thinking I have to move here. Change weapon, because I can't shoot that now. I need to reload it. And then use the stinger on I have to keep him alive I think although I can't hit them anyway but he can't see me I think I have to go with that guy come on 
Oh. It's always a risk. Okay, so there's that one there, but I think I'm pretty well protected from him. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. Okay, then let's go for a grenade again. Do I get them both? Yeah. Come on. Right, the other guy died for his own fire anyway. He's missed. That cover's worked for me, but I'm about to get taken down. Ooh. Which one? Not ducks. Don't take ducks down. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Right. First time I've bled out. When a stalker takes too much damage, they will bleed out. Combat heal. Move close and use a med kit to save them within the indicated turns. Okay, so I've got three turns to save him. Now, I'm going to die myself if I'm not careful, but I could use a med kit on myself. Why am I just now thinking of this? What an absolute idiot. Um, yeah, let's use that to buy me a bit of time. And if we can, yeah, I can shoot either of them, but there's a pretty low chance of hitting. Oh, I have the run and gun thing, though, don't I? Let's use run and gun. And let's run... Oh. Uh, I've already used an action to heal, so I can't run more than one. But I could put myself there. I'd have a 100% chance to hit that guy. But I think I'm quite likely to be shot by the sniper. I'm not too worried about that, though. Oh, does this... Will this hit both of them? Let's find out. No. I don't think it is a... A grenade launcher. I think it's a... Knockdown. Round. Come on. If that mold is on fire, we might just die. Oh, no. No. Do they have to move, or... Perhaps he was on two health before. Okay, so this is bad. This is bad. I have to use another med kit. Well, those health things are my med kits in the top right. That's good to know, I guess. I was looking at that in the shop earlier, wasn't I? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I do? I mean, I, that's not on fire anymore. So I could technically run here. I'd have really good cover from the other guy, in theory. And then I can... Oh, I didn't have another action. What did I do? I healed, didn't I? That's okay. He missed. Did the Marauder just miss? No. I was going to say, not from there, surely. Okay, so we select our scatter gun, I think, and pop. Now, I could heal up. I don't think I need to. I think he's going to do two damage. Tops. Ducks might be dead. But then I don't think ducks can die. It might be the case that... It might be the case... That if other characters die, they go. But um, psh, Ducks and Bormin are gonna. Oh, trophy and my bad. <laughs> I'll find out what that means later, but it probably means Ducks is dead. Uh, this isn't going well. And I'm out of range. So I'm thinking. I'm gonna do a reload on the scatter gun. And then put myself in Overwatch. And just. Overwatch. Pray that he doesn't shoot me from there. He's going to, though. Oh, we'll be doing this again. We will be doing this again. I can't help ducks. I can't really risk healing myself. I need to move in, but I can't do that either. Okay, what if I put sprint on again? I run <laughs> here. Pray that he doesn't, that he misses on his next shot, and I. myself in overwatch again? No, just shoot him. I need to start taking damage down, don't I? Right, now we just pray that he misses. If he doesn't miss, we're doing this again. Oh, he's not going to miss from there. That's got to be 100% success rate, isn't it? Boof! Bormin is bleeding out. But that's it. There's no one to save him. Game over. They fought. Uh, right. Let's do a quick load. I think I'll be able to do this much quicker this time. I'm going to put myself in a position where I can take that shaman out straight away. That was my problem. Bormir was too far away, so he couldn't hit him. And then as soon as he had a go, he called in far too many reinforcements. So what we'll do is we'll get this little bit done now quickly. I'll take the shaman out as quickly as possible. And then we'll call it a day there. What was that? Did I kick this? No, it's fine. 
So if we just go back to the cabin. Ah, oh, if I had to turn the torch off, I could have got a bit closer before I was spotted and I could have ambushed from a much smaller distance. What an idiot. Yeah, look at this. This is better. Right. So, I'm thinking, Ducks has got the longer range, right? We chuck Ducks. Yeah, we split up. We move Bormin around to this side. Like this. Oh, uh, no, don't. Oh, uh, no. We're going to hit square to ambush. And we're going to let Bormin go first, because I need to make sure I'm in range. Which I am this time. That's good. Now that does six damage. That does guaranteed five. We're going to go with this. It's got a smaller critical, but I've only got 20% chance of that crit anyway. Let's do it. If we can take him out straight away, this isn't going to be that bad. Yes, I'm not in cover, again, but that shaman's not going to get a turn. Could get a turn. There's a 25% chance he could get a turn. Uh, don't like that. What if I throw my smoke grenade? Oh, no, smoke grenade's not going to help. Okay, let's go for it. Nice. That's better. This will fly through this now. Even if I don't take cover, I've got this. That Marauder will go down in one shot from either weapon. Oh, wow. Thanks. So the Hunter's the problem, but... What was he doing? Three damage a time? We'll just get back here. I've got a reload. I'll get back here and use the Stinger. That's fine. We'll get back here. Change to the Stinger. And... Fire weapon. Nice. And next time we can reload from behind the tree and use the crossbow. We'll get this guy. Bormin will get over here. Alright, he's only got half cover. But he's got in a pretty good position to take the hunter. And for now, we can just use the scattergun on this marauder. Oh, was that his head? Did that his head just come off? Or did he drop something? Oh, that looked painful. Right. Come on. Oh, didn't want that. Did not want that. I think Bormin's going to be okay, though. We don't need to worry about healing him up. Even if he bleeds out, we've got three turns to finish this, so this is fine. Oh, 100% chance. Let's crit. Oh. Ah, but he's on fire. He could be dead next turn. Yes. That's it. That was how easy it should have been last time. Unbelievable. I made a real meal out of it last time. Come on, Bormin, over here. Hey, Let's regroup. So the Far Looker, this is probably going to be a... It's called Artifact. It'll give us an Artifact point in the top right. Does it? Yes. One Artifact. This is Hammond's Far Looker. Let's bring it back to prep before the ghouls take it. That okay. Is all wrong. It should be a smaller fire. Because when I looked into it, everything became smaller. Oh, dear. Make one additional crit damage. Nice. 20% chance to disable robotic enemies. Okay. We don't need that yet. Oh. Was he about to say maybe I was looking into it the wrong way and I skipped it? I skipped some classic Ducks Bormin humor. Never mind. We'll live. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I've got. I've put the torch on. I can move faster. That's better. Thought I was going quite slow. Common scrap. Uh, what's this? A broken gun. Gives me five weapon parts. A note. Okay. Zone dog camp. As the seasons pass, this is where I think we find the next character. I might be wrong. As the season pass, seasons pass, I'm forced to further out into the zone to find even the most basic of objects. From time to time, I stumble across the odd hidden place, even in locations I imagined were already cleaned out by stalkers seasons ago. One such place is to be found due west of the fallen machine. So that's the machine we saw earlier that looked like a satellite that formed from the sky. There appears to be the remains of an ancient camp, complete with a transportable hut. Caravan, I guess? Maybe? Uh, the location is currently home to a pack of zone dogs who for some reason tolerate my presence near to their breeding grounds. They pick off wandering ghouls and I leave them alone. This, usually s this uh, unusual symbiosis works f for me quite well. I think I've been there. Perhaps I haven't. I followed a note somewhere and I found the character last time I played this. And again, I've probably got another half an hour into this before I stopped. Which is why I started again for the Let's Play, because it didn't seem worth... Uh, you know, going from the an hour and a half into the game when I could just start over. So, But I'm sure I followed a note to find the next person. That's a pile of notes here. Let's see. 
Zone ghouls stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Okay. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden. Where everybody's happy and safe. <laughs> and Hammond they look happy. The <laughs> He takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Hmm. Guess we gotta find out. Well... Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. Seeing as it's called Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden, I think we can assume there's going to be an Eden. Maybe not, but I don't I wouldn't be surprised. I don't care about Eden, but we need to find Hammond. And if he's going north, we're going north. Fine. If he's going north, that makes him a grade A certified loony. No one goes up there for him. And what's with those two stalkers he took with him? They should know better. They're following orders, just like us. The Ark can't run without Hammond, so we're bringing him back. Especially with ghoul packs coming this far south. Wonder right. what they're planning. The ghouls are too dumb to plan. Hmm. <laughs> Someone's pushing them down here. I'm feeling in my feathers. Before we go, before I call it a day, we leveled up, so we'll do a quick level up. Oh, is it just Bormin that leveled up? That's interesting. Ah, so they don't level up, they don't gain XP at the same time, maybe? Hmm, anyway, mutations. Oh no, they both did. No? Or they just have a point left over? Ducks might have had a point left over. So, we're looking at, we've got two points to spend. Let's put my health up again. If we're gonna buy it, if we're gonna spec into the tank abilities, we kinda want to max our health out a bit first. To the point where I might buy this bef this next health booster before I buy the Joker to draw enemies in. Okay. Um, and it said there was an addition to my map, so let's take a look at that, which is here. So that's Hammond's cat. Right, I guess we're heading up to here then, aren't we? This must be House of Bones. Current objective, investigate the crash site. So we've got quite a long way to go. We're going to go here next. Okay. Now I don't think this is where I went next last time though. See, I think cause we found a doorway earlier, didn't we? Let's go and have a look. I'm sure I found a doorway over here. Oh, past this guy. There's a sign here. What does this say? Can I read it? No. <laughs> no, it. Yeah, there's a door here. Perhaps it's the next area that splits into two different directions then, because this looks fairly linear. Looks like it's one in and one out. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Okay. So, I shall save the game here, call it a day, and we will be back next week for some more Mutant Year Zero to see if we can find Hammond. I mean, I think it's going to be a while till we get up there from the looks of the map, but we'll get a little bit closer to finding Hammond. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like, maybe put a comment down below, hit the subscribe button. If you've got any other suggestions for strategy games, you'd like to see us play in the future. This is going to go on for quite some time, but if people aren't that bothered by this or they'd rather see XCOM or something else, Divinity maybe, or, or something a bit different, then let me know. But uh, until next week, yeah, see you soon. Bye.